begin play spawns the particle system, sets it to a Niagara variable. The event tick comes in, spawns as many as we want per tick. Right now it looks like we're at a thousand. That's going to populate our new particle positions with a random uh, vector position for x, y, and z within these ranges and a thousand of them and also pick a random color. We are then going to pass those random color and position data arrays of vectors to the specific variable names set within them and then clear out clear them out for the next run. Then over on what's going to happen on the actual Niagara systems is that they are then going to tick on their own set time. I haven't touched any of that in this brand new project so just whatever the default is. Link, uh, link their variables to the two particle systems. So here's the particle system. It has nothing in here except for our two um, custom scratch pad nodes. We go ahead to emit particles and grab the this vector array that we created inside here that's been linked externally on the node to the correct internally passed variable from blueprints for position. It's then going to just see how many of them are, make the new spawn info, and spawn those particles. And that's it. That's what happens in that node. Then the second node on those particles, when they spawn, they have another node for their begin play to go ahead and position themselves based on that array data we have. So in that node itself, we grab two, uh, a color and a vector array, which are set out here to the, the two passed in exact variables from Blueprint as named, those two vector arrays, so link those inputs. It goes through, removes the last one so we don't resort the array, take the position, dump it into the particle position, and we also remove the last one on the color array, take the color, convert the color, and dump that into color. And then we're deleting them if they're not in there because GPU tends to make some extra particles. And with that, save it all, and hopefully we we'll just go ahead and hit play again here. Make sure we're on GPU. GPU. So it's right there. See? GPU. All right. Hey, it's working again. And what's nice too is you can just see on the GPU, although the widget reflector thingy, <laughs> one, on the GPU, and CPU really with just these regular particles we're almost at 120 frames even when recording looking at all this stuff and it's all being forced with gravity down but yeah so there's hopefully a much more simple um, tutorial on doing this and the main reason to do it even if, if, if we couldn't get the GPU it would still be useful on the CPU simulation because the draw calls are just slaughtered this way we turn we have 42 draw calls now where we were having thousands of draw calls otherwise when we do individual emitters. All right, have a great day.